Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using a mod called Project Valachord or Project Valachord. Um, uh, basically we're playing as Star Wars, once again, in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, and we're playing as the Galactic Empire, as you can tell from the uh, thumbnail and the title of the video. So, we're playing as Galactic Empire, we'll see what we're doing. And we're do we just did State of the Imperial Senate, it's January 7th, 995. Oh, there's no description, but State of the Imperial Senate. The halls of the Imperial Senate have fallen eerily quiet. The discourse of senators, once argumentative and full of vitriol, has been reduced to hushed chatter and cold reception. Repulsor pods remain dormant in their docks, and even the Grand Vizier rarely bothers to preside over the disgraced body. If the Republic truly doubted the Empire's rise, there was no proof stronger than in these chambers. We must remove this last remnant of the Republic, and we need focus for the Galactic Empire. Eventually, we'd like to rule by fear. But, uh, what well, things we can do here? Complete the Death Star by 5%. Encourage Oversector Elites. Ooh. Uh, diplomats to Dock. Gorman's Shipping Lanes. Debate. Galactic Intervention Delegation. Well, that wouldn't be bad. Well, tension is not too high, or global tension. Uh, it seems Imperialization Doctrine. Well, I'm not sure which one we want. We definitely need some more fuel. So, let's go with Emperor Holding Scheme. I want to get this one. Encourage Oversector Elites. But right now, we're actually starting off at war, and we are led by Darth Vader and uh, Morad, Morad Bass. So we're losing the battle here right now on the Membanese Liberation Army. Kind of sucks. Also, I did convert all of our soldiers to uh, Stormtrooper Legions. Now, we started with all sorts of stuff like Royal Guards. We have the Imperial Police, which we keep. Wet Weather Legions. Interesting. Swamp Troopers. Unique. We had Palace Guards. We, had, we have uh, Storm, uh, Stormtrooper Legions. Which I will throw in some support artillery eventually on. Imperial regulars, which are just infantry with engineers. Imperial garrisons, which are not bad. And the stormtrooper garrisons, which are not terrible either. Um, but with uh, mobile battalions, these guys definitely... Yeah, actually, they do, they do the same amount. Oh. Regardless. Um, I, I figured for my first playthrough, we were going to use nothing but stormtroopers. So we're, we're out of a lot of guns. My bad. Oh no, we're getting beaten back. But we do have planes here. We're doing. We're doing. Yes, wait, and where do you go? Special? Yes. Nice. So they love attacking. Ooh, what, what can we do here? So we're led by Emperor Palpatine. Sheev. I got a name, Sheev. The Emperor. We have natural spirits, overextended political administration. Oh, God. We have large alien uh, population. Oh, God. We have dedication to the core, which makes sense. We have underdeveloped worlds, which also makes sense. And then we have Imperial Research Facilities and Tarkin Doctrine. But, oh, Imperial Political Feud. Feud. Imperial Senators, or should we go with the Emperor Palpatine? Sabotage a Senate bill. Sabotaging a Senate bill from, from an opposing senator should prevent the opposition from becoming too emboldened. Low control. Daily the Republican support goes down. Huh. Resistance activity chance. Get more political power. War support. Or we go with the Senators. Political advisor cost. Office of the Emperor. So what do we have here? You lose political power, but master impact goes down, which is not bad. You lose more political power, too. Ooh, I like the political power. It's only 5%, though. It's not very much. Division attack. Ooh. Ooh. Promising officer. Preferred attack to selection cost. Grand Vizier. Daily Imperial support. Oh, Imperial Senate. Yeah, Phraeology is Imperial. Yeah. I like this guy. Ours, Dang, Dangor, Sate, Sate, Pestage, Captain of Industry, of course, Princess of Terror. Interesting. Darth Vader. It's not bad. Plus 50% of our break, that's pretty good. But you don't get any daily army XP gain, which we, we all need. Yes. Division organization, planning speed, or planning division defense. Interesting. Now, does infantry attack and defense, does that also apply to stormtroopers? I would assume so. You never know. What the heck can we do here? Oh, we did this off there. Um, we could. Towards the side. Yeah, I'll do it once. Then what? Project Stardust. Let's start with that. Sun Izard. Yes. I'm trying to show us all the divisions we have in here.
Nice. Um, Project Stardust, we need 50,000. It's quite a bit, but whatever. Doctor's Command, the Governor's Mandate. Honestly, I don't. This, I put on Historical, so I don't remember which one we need. Appropriating Legacy Worlds, Dolovite and Dunium. Sub theory, sub system theory. Oh crud! Solve the super laser. Construction modules, undignified labor. I know it's a superstructure. Crud. Well, Joint Chiefs Committee. Umbaran intervention. Appoint Ars Dangor. Slime more. Oh crud. Well, we'll secure Rid Rydonium. Rydonium? Rydonium deposits. Ooh. And we have quite a large navy we're going to have here, too. We only have six of this. I don't mind getting another cruiser or carrier hull, actually. Falls ill, whatever. Stop falling ill. Darth Vader literally cannot fall ill. I'll show you that in a little bit. Medium? No. Light cruises? A little better. We're going to definitely need some convoys, so we might as well. Nice. Oh. What do we have here? Oh, a uh, Mancala Uprising. Plagued by Silent Resistance. Um, our garrison of Mancala is beginning to lose total control of the situation. Secret societies meet under the waves, plotting uh, to, to seize control of the wa water world once more. It's simply a matter of time. Before the uprising begins, we may only delay the inevitable. Project Stardust, in order to ensure galaxy wide peace under the hand of the Emperor and his Galactic Empire. The Emperor has devoted resources to a super weapon since the Clone Wars, however. The project has only seen some considerable progress in the past few years and is likely to be fully operational soon. Coerce Jet Beam? Subsidized major ones? A deal with the Sub shipyards. A deal with the Rothan Rothana production yards. Five. I kind of like this one more. Time to is lower. Governor's Mandate. The Director's Control. Well, let's go with the Governor's Mandate. I want to install the Super Laser. Oh, I want to finalize the Superstructure, but we'll go with that one. Yeah, supplies are not very good right now, but whatever. And, oh, we can do it anyways. Okay. Well, appropriating Legacy Worlds. Nice. And it's, honestly, I'm okay with grinding just for a little bit of army XP. So. Oh. We could definitely use that. Dolovite and Dunium. Because we are definitely out. Oh, out of steel. Out of steel. Hux falls ill. Nice, nice, nice. And. Undignified labor. Nice, we got two civilian trains and a tiny spot of fuel. And they've been crushed. Beautiful. Um, I, I really have no idea where to send everybody, so. We're just gonna do this. And. It could take a little bit of time here. Just send them on all the different worlds here. Give them all different spots to go to. Where's Coruscant? Outer Rim, Outer Rim. Collect Empire. Collect Empire, Empire, Empire. Yeah, I'll probably put him in the Imperial City. That'd probably be smart, too. All Durans all the way out there. Nice. Should be good enough for everyone to leave. Oh, look at that. Oh, it can be ordered metal. That's really cool. Casualties taken, huh? Control organization. Reconnaissance. Breakthrough's not bad. Go with the Crimson Star. Like a Patrick Star. So with this, we have any more political power, but I'm going to go with infantry. Assume that... Oh, this one's good, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Point one army XP gain daily, but point zero nine. Oh, you. Construction modules, basic machine tools. So this is all normal stuff. It's kind of nice. 
So these are all plain stuff, victory modules. Just need a crap ton of guns. Structure methods, finalized superstructure. Nice. 300% complete. Very good. But train anyways, because you all to fix y'all self up. And obviously we'll go offensive. Look at that. He literally can't die. He's Sith. Chance to get sick. Minus 100%. Chance to get wounded. Minus however many percentages. I would like to throw some artillery on these guys, though. What do we have up here? Just throw them all up here. Nice. And Project Celestial Power? We're going to race to get that Death Star done. Weekly balance of power change. Ah. Oh. The prison centers. Apprentice legislator program. Uh, imprisonment of an opposing senator was in less opposing bills from being closed and less overall opposition general in the general senate. Oh, it's trending that way. Oh boy. Rule by fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger turns leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Suffering leads to pain. And pain clamors for control in order to be stopped. Through fear, we shall make the galaxy understand that the Emperor is their only salvation. Comes into the Imperial Party, huh? The em and then we added the Emperor. So we get offensive war stability. Okay, interesting. Because you have to you need to delegate, you know, everything. Development of world decision which allows for the buildup of the world size to reduce their economic dependency on the Empire. Expand the Tarkin initiative. Grapple ship attack. Screen attack goes down. Oh, research slot. Oh, man. Can't go competing. That's, that'd be good. Um, expand the Tarkin initiative. Tarkin doctors proved to be an effective strategy for the Empire. However, even the Grand Moff himself agrees that there are some ways in which we could easily improve the for this strategy for the better. Hey, look at this guy. Will of Tarkin. Excuse Senator for treason. With Senators have a diplomatic immunity. Unable to contest an, exec an ex execution order given by the military commander. Such, the suit ball could be used to effectively assassinate a political opponent. Now, however, due to its method's severity, you don't be able to do it once. Okay. Um, how many more? We need quite a bit. Quite a few more. Close storage is not bad, though. Um, air stop, expand the target initiative, very good. Clone War Arrows, small planes, TIE Fighters, their lights, all ahead of time. I can grab that too. At least get something on them. Secondary batteries, level 1 is that's better, 19. Um, anti air 2. There you go. Heavy ship, cruiser holes. Um, these are better cruiser holes. They'll finish it off. And a fourth research slot, nice. Well, then what? Emperor Palpatine, ooh. That'd be nice. A hut transit deal. The huts are certainly loathsome people, and their lavish displays of debauchery are an example that it is generously so hated by the Empire, but none can deny their mastery of the deal. Although we would be loath to cooperate with them, through unofficial channels and backroom meetings, it's possible we could secure a favorable transit deal with the most shrewd criminals in the galaxy. Improve the bureaucracy. As it currently stands, our bureaucracy is not very efficient. And as a result, something slipped through the cracks. While it is ultimately possible to resolve this for an empire as grand and large as ours, there's still some ways we can improve the current system. Absolutely. So you're looking pretty good there now. Um, carrier holes. Heavy ship. Heavy ship. We might have a couple carriers, maybe. There you go. We have no steel, but whatever. Transit here. Oh. Develop backwater world. Many of the worlds or systems under control, and never had the opportunity to advance their economic capabilities. And as a result of these planets, require constant aid. We're focusing on improving these planets, however, maybe we may be able to use these resources elsewhere. Tanks. 
Maulers, huh? ATTEs, huh? Funny. Docking. You never know if we need that or not. And then improve the bureaucracy. That would be good. United under one emperor. Special forces. What do you think? Construction speed. Ah, Imperial process. Press core. Uprising on Mon Cala. Blast of fire, shatter holes, and imperial disaster. These are the scenes of the galaxy watches unfold over Mon Cala. The watery roar, long seen as a thorn in the side of Korosakan's hegemony, has launched a rapid and violent rebellion against the Emperor's forces. The fleet sent years ago to police the worlds has become completely destroyed. The local merchant fleet having mobilized in great number over Mon Cala. With the die finally cast, new Imperial Task Force is underway to the planet, and the fate of the Mon Cala Mari is soon to be decided. Hardly surprising. Rebels on Mon Cala. Appears as though after years of unrest and high tension on the water world of Mon Cala. Look at that. Um, things have finally come to a head. Reports from across the planet indicate open rebellion against local imperial forces. What is the best course of action? Well, we should intervene personally. Let's see how this goes. Mon Kala Oversector. Oops. Republic of Mon Kala. Total collapse of command, wow. Is it part of our faction? The Empire. Is any volunteers? We're gonna request forces and request garrison support, but we don't need that. Okay. Terror campaign? Right, love. Home of the Twi'lek and the prompt for every power that is intended to occupy. Be it Republic, Confederacy, Union, or Empire. Promises proved futile when the Republic occupied after taking it from the Confederacy. Promising freedom to the Twi'leks only to suffer defeat from another native uprising out of the Second Battle of Geonosis. We have learned better. The Twi'lek will learn to respect the Empire and live under, live under it peacefully, or will suffer the consequences. Pretty much. Hang out with Palpy. That's kind of cool. And uh look at this. Build steel foundries. We got actually ooh, bounty hunters guild. Oh, that's cool. Develop minor worlds. That's another good one. Foreign influence. Collaboration government, whatever. My rise is nice. Also just in case. Oh, I haven't put this one on just because I could get copyright struck and I don't want to get copyright struck again. Spend the mines? Yeah. Support the Doomy mines? Yeah, heck yeah. My god, do we need them? Um, is this ours? No. no we're good. Probably honestly want them. Okay. Carrier, heavy ships. We'll go with that one then. It's this. Motorized. Nice. Um, I guess for this one, we'll go with Spirit Firepower. That's usually when I like going, so it's usually pretty good to do. Right, let's go with seven tributary lasers. Why not? to dock. Oh, we could have delayed this. Oh, well. I 
imprison them. Over sector. Imperial Munist. Magito. 49. Right now we have what? Cruisers, carriers, heavy ship hulls. Double from that. Oh, this one next. Crystal Mining World. That's better than what it was. Nice. We need how much every day? So the economy does not help. Daily gain point one, one point one. Are they supposed to win or lose? Imperial Joint Chiefs? Honestly, I cannot remember these guys are supposed to lose or not. Manage office. I just save it. Nice. Umbara intervention, huh? Nice. And so to some theory. Or we should do Kashyyyk Midnight Raids. Loki has been thrown on the Empire's side for some time now. Not only are they remarkably sensitive to the force for being raised in such a backwater, but they're strong enough to crush entire platoons of stormtroopers with their bare hands, proving even more dangerous given their allegiance to the rebellion. So it's for this very reason that we must strike uh, rebel posts on the planet Kashyyyk under the cover of darkness, which... I mean... I don't think we're really... Oh, there we go. Where are we at? Oh crud. How the heck are we supposed to get down there? Three. Three. Well, let's do it like this. I'll throw that butt around here too. But on, what you got for us? There's a Commodore. Most numerous of flag officers, Commodores are responsible for leading major task forces and small fleets. Nice. There's not really no fuel, but whatever. Then a little bit, but first. Yes, and Crystal Mining Worlds. Good luck. Oh, hello.
statement. Um, you need under one emperor. There's only one room for one uh, leader of the empire, the emperor himself. Well, Draken has its uses, it's certain, and certainly an important administrator. Let's remind the people who has truly given them freedom, opportunity, and security. Not the Grand Moth, not the Stormtroopers, but the Emperor. Ah. Very good. Just need so much steel, my god. I don't have the 30 PP for it. I'll get up. Well, Unity and One Emperor and Subsystem Theory? Sure. We can try it. We landed. That's good. We definitely landed now. Good. Uh, let's do Gorman shipping lanes debate. Sure. Nice. There you go. There you go. Amphibious short bombardment. Extra marines. Well, I guess he's an invader technically. That makes sense. Oh. Gorman shipping lanes debate. The brewing crisis over the Gorman can, has finally boiled over. A main open spat between the planetary and galactic governments. New reporting has revealed Imperial naval vessels blocking critical shipping lanes to the planet. Gormanese officials have since decried the act as political blackmail on a military blockade, and though the Imperial Navy just denies all such claims. That's where you at. Competition in the Senate, oh boy. In Coruscant, rebel sympathizers gathered the steps of the crowded Senate officers to protest the authority of the Empire, particularly those within the Security Bureau, who were accused by the coalition of overreaching their boundaries as an organization. While this accusation is clearly inflammatory, it will never garner popular support within the Senate, and may be to our advantage to push initial odds in our favor. Perhaps a few dozen senators should meet personally with those they accuse of overreach, just to make sure they, get, they know who they find themselves up against. 100, oh my god. I like the little mechanic here, that's actually smart. What the desert do. I like taking over, over over other people. Wow, you almost completely can eliminate them. Love it. Uh, Galactic Intervention de Delegation. Yeah. Umbaras. Good. And that should have other guns too. Beautiful. I'll go back to training. Y'all. And Stormtrooper Legions. For R, do we have enough? No, we don't. And that's okay with us. There you go. I just don't know which one. Transfer. Empower the Bureau of Ships. Ending Thede's Defiance. Oh, huh, prison rule. Ooh. Military governorship. Reinforce sensitive sectors? Sure, why not? Am I a sensitive sector? I'm pretty sensitive myself. It's all a super laser. Realization Doctrine is next, 21. 21, it's not bad though. Looking okay. So this way we can get next to Imperial Holding Schemes. More construction speed, please, yes, thank you. Dorothy.
How much artillery we got? Oh, we're not even making it already. Oh, that's not good. Okay, then. Fuel refining's good. Just give you more fuel refining, because my god, do we need it or what? Steel foundries. Keep building more. They're important. Response to emergent rebellion. Utapau. Course Malaster. A little fast as mod moves. He's really good. How are we looking here? Emperor medium control. Nice. I like it. Coerce Jevin. And a statement, maybe. Because right now, where are we at? Do we, uh, we just need a crap ton of steel. Oh, uh, pretty good. Decent amount. Not a huge amount, though. Well, we'll probably want to grab someone from here, too. Air superiority is not bad. Oh, man. Plus point one two. Yeah, we're going to get that guy first. Mandalore Authority, very nice. Goes more already, more trucks, more everything like that. Nice. Pretty good. Uh, in the meantime, just shove them all here. Where are you at? There you are. Um, Bounce out a little more. Get rid of the naval bombers in this one. Get rid of the gas on this one. Helps balance things out a little more. Get rid of the naval bombers in this one. And get rid of the cast on another one. There you go. Because this one's naval bombers, cast, naval bombers, and fighters. There you go. Occupation of Utapau. Utapau. Steel. Hey, blaster is nice, nice, nice. Keep building. And a statement's next. Looking decent. Two improved sensors. Statement. No effect. Let's wait has an effect. Now should I have shipyards? Why not? And the last or something. Cool. Begin the defender program. I should be done any second now. In a bit of accelerate the expansion of the Empire's fleet. And the Imperial officials have announced that the Empire will offer to build shipping offer shipbuilding subsidies to eligible shipbuilding corporations. So to enable the selected company to access significant financial support from the Empire, allow them to invest in research, development, and innovation to create a superior capital ship fleet that outperforms any other. Both. Rothan Engineering and Soros Sub Corporation have eagerly welcomed the Empire's proposal with enthusiasm, viewing this as an unprecedented opportunity to showcase their technological expertise and expand their operations. I'm do this one, Rothan. Galactic 
Wide domination, yes. Oh dear. Results of Project Harvester. Grand Inquisitor becomes ground hero. Chief of the army, the following effects. Ah, they actually did win. Look at that. Raider class, nice. Down here too. Invest with the organas. So a little more steel. No, I should have done this part of this one, but Parson Raider in Jitta City. Underground agents working within the halls. Walls of Jedi City report that a partisan raid on the Grand Armies will take place in the coming days. Many government officials, including uh, Mayor Lieutenant Juddens, urge the imperial elements to properly prepare for, the, prepare for the assault. Small contingent will be sent to subdue the raid, summoned by any means necessary. Current garrison force should be more than enough to defend themselves. You know, 50 50, I guess. Stormtrooper training programs? Oh, they're pretty good too. Oh, Emperor High Command, huh? Nice. We're running out of manpower. How much manpower do we have in total? Over 600 million. What's the total? Population, I should say. Project Siphon? We have vast untapped workforce at our fingertips to bring the galaxy up to date in the image we see for it. Convicts. <coughs> the malcontents, vicious, the deviants, the rebellious, all of them, scum, who, one way or another, were apprehended by our forces. A single crack of the whip should suffice us to have them lining up, the tools in hand, in every single one of our projects. Roger that. Ah. Oh, they actually have the support already on them already. Nice. Very good. Jolly good, as some might say. Shadow. Oh, we could do that. Let's do Kuat licensing agreement. Why not? I did say I want that guy, but I want my bit of power. Because this is growth goes down. 5%, 5%. Ah, screw it. It's not much, but whatever. Yeah, it feels looking okay, though, too. Look at that. Oh, another research slot. Combat Analysis Division. Okay. I know I don't remember which one. A Project Umbra Legion or Project Black Hole? It's Shadow Troopers versus Dark Troopers. I think Dark Troopers were more like it, but I can't remember. Uh reshape planetary culture? Sure. Sounds good to us. Oh, hang out with Palpy. Dismetric radar. I'll go and grab the next ones. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Overwhelming firepower. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Response. 
to the emerging rebellion. Do we do that one next? Incidents on barracks. Task the ISB. A corporate warrant execution went wrong on the Priox Morlana control port of Ferrix today, resulting in the deaths of multiple corporate security officers and went as a civilian. Oh boy. In addition, the Perox Morlana security force were unable to apprehend the suspects and they're now loose now they're and they're now loose loose or loose loose. The galaxy large. I'm sure this never happens again. This will not be tolerated. Task the ISB. Imperial Emergency Act. Nice. Inspectors of Adani and the Ox. Allows to execute an operation to neutralize the radical rebel Anto Krieger, huh? I can't remember which one, we, which one we want this one to. But let's go with the uh, production deal with Sinar. This master impact's pretty nice, though. Izar assumes directorship. But in a shocking turn of events, <clears throat> Izan Izar, the daughter of Imperial Intelligence head um, Armand Izar, has accused her own father of treason. Izar, known for her unyielding loyalty to the Empire, sent her colleagues and spears when she presented evidence that her father had been secretly working with rebel sympathizers. Armed Armand Izar was executed within the hour, as ordered by the Emperor himself. As order of unwavering loyalty to the Empire, Izar was promoted to the position of leader of the Imperial Intelligence, replacing her father. The Imperial spirit is, is at its finest. She had a moth as Mothma's movement. I always said that wrong as a kid. Nice. Fuel. We'll go to go with the war economy next, probably. Crystal Caves of Jeddah. Nice. We're going towards absolute control. Martial law. Incursion for Gera. I don't remember which one either, which one is this one. I want to remember, but. Test the SRS capabilities and troubles the planet as yet. Sooner's advanced research division. Oh, another research slot. That's nice. Give you more research slots. This is super nice. Oh, Camino. Nice. Love it. Congrats. You get to start a new one here, too. Oh, you're here, too? Air, plenty of guns, and I don't know which one to. Go to. We'll see it in the next one, probably. So, we're doing all this stuff. Uh, I'll do an inspection of Aldani. Why not? Six research slots. I'm feeling a bit OP now. Just a wee bit. Just a little bit. And there you go. Oh, look at this. What the heck is this? That's exactly right. Goodbye. Ah, the heist on Aldani. Tensions are running high in chorus on this evening as the new images are released of what Imperial officials are calling an unprovoked terror attack. Scenes of a fire fight and hurried escape from the Aldani uh, installation alongside an allegedly large sum of stolen credits have pushed Senate into an overnight emergency session. When much is left uncertain, it seems that the Empire is preparing to take decisive action after this humiliation. A surprising revelation, to be sure. Cool. 
piercing, 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 and we'll go there too. So, um, oh, Felix inspected. Oh, we need to inspect Felix, don't we? Phoenix, something like that. Take you to the hotel. Well, we'll probably do that. And next one we'll probably end with what? Anything here we want to? No, not a manifesto. I want to wait for that one. Just ban the Senate. Ooh, I kind of want to do that one, so. Uh, let me know which one we should do for all these. But in the meantime, I'm going to end the episode there, and then we'll start fresh and anew in the next one to see what happens, especially with a growing rebellion. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with the Galactic Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.